on ABC 15, the father of a Higley High School student stabbed by another student is telling us tonight there may have been warning signs that something bad was about to happen. ABC 15's Angie Holdsworth talked to him today and has brand new information on this story. The parents obviously concerned about all this. The incident happened Wednesday morning here between a 17-year-old and a 15-year-old. That 15-year-old's father, though, says he's also concerned about what happened the day before. This picture shows what some may call a superficial wound to the 15-year-old. But his father, Imeka Kalu, says that's not the point. The way I look at it is being downplayed now because this is very serious. That boy will have been dead. Wednesday morning, police reported that a 17-year-old pulled out a knife during a fight with a 15-year-old in the hallway. Both kids are in the special ed program. Everybody who knows my son knows that he doesn't even talk to anybody. Kalu tells me he believes it was not a fight but an attack. Uh, this kid pinned him against the wall uh, and then uh, reached out uh, on his uh, backpack, grabbed a knife, slashed him the first one and uh, also the second one. Kalu said the day before the same boy was somewhat hostile towards his son. The previous day gave him a middle finger in school and he reported to the teacher. If this kid gave him a middle finger the day before and the next morning came to school with a knife so he was prepared and he Who also believes that this might have been prevented if the staff could have intervened the day before. You know, because if actually the boy was cautioned, then he wouldn't think about bringing a knife the next day. Kalu says he's waiting to get more information from the school about the incident and the concerns raised the day prior. He says his son is back in school and is well, lucky. Well, well, Regardless of the results time, this time, he wants life. people to take what happened seriously. This is an assault with a deadly weapon. That's what that means. School district officials would not comment on this, saying that it's a student discipline issue. That 17-year-old will likely face some charges. In Gilbert, Angie Holdsworth, ABC 15 News.